The profit equation is the difference between revenues and expenses. Expenses are made of costs. Costs are the value of resources. They are often the main element under management's control. Revenues depend to a larger extent on market conditions. Some costs happen no matter how many products are sold. They do not change with changes in the level of activity. These are fixed costs. For example, if you own a car, you have to pay insurance each month, no matter how much you drive. The same is true with an ice cream factory that has a mortgage on its property. The company has to make the same mortgage payments regardless of how much ice cream it produces. In contrast, variable costs change with the level of activity. While the insurance payment is fixed each month, gasoline changes with the amount of driving. At the ice cream factory, milk varies with the amount of ice cream produced. If we have the level of activity in the horizontal axis and total costs in the vertical axis, a fixed cost is a horizontal line. The cost does not change with activity. The variable cost is a sloping line. Some costs combine fixed and variable costs. Your phone bill is a good example. Often, you pay an access fee, and then, after a certain level, you pay per additional time. These costs are called semi-variable or mixed costs. Costs are variable or fixed over a certain range, what is called the relevant range. For example, the cost of one internet server is fixed. However, if traffic increases significantly, one server is not enough and you need a new one. With two servers, the fixed cost doubles. These are called step costs. Notice that when a small range of activity is considered, the step cost behaves as a fixed cost. Some fixed costs can be reduced or eliminated. For example, the cost of training does not change with production or sales volume, but management can decide to reduce it. These are discretionary costs. Conversely, committed costs, such as monthly payments on a long-term lease, are hard to change.